Hey guys, it's Miss Gibbs. I'm so excited that you are trying out Canva over the summer to make sure that you are keeping yourself fresh on all of your academic skills, but also you're getting to practice some digital literacy, literacy skills too. Um, so in this video, I am going to give you guys just a few pointers for your greeting card that you're creating to welcome summer that might help you be a little more successful while you're working on your card. Um, so you probably noticed when you opened up your template that up here in the top corner, I gave you some um, icons to kind of look out for. So the first one is this design icon. So those actual buttons or those icons are actually over here on the left side of your screen and you can click those to go into different menus um, in Canva when you're working on your design. So if I click on the design option, that one's going to let me change my entire template. So if I really don't want it to look like this at all, then I can look at some of the suggested templates they have for me, or maybe I want something like, maybe I'm really into dinosaurs. So I can search that word dinosaurs, and maybe I want to change my template to something like that. Just be careful because if you click a different template, um, it's gonna ask you if you want to replace the one you have here. So it will take away this template um, and put in something different. Um, the other button that you'll probably use is the elements button. It's the one here that has four different shapes on it. When you click on it, it's going to let you add graphics or pictures, or you can add different shapes. So it helps to start by searching for a word. So for example, if you are looking for a bird for your card, you can type bird, hit enter and it's going to give you lots of options. I can look at graphics, which kind of mean like cartoonish or animated pictures of birds. I can go to photos, which is going to give me realistic images of birds. I can even choose videos to go in my greeting card, which is pretty cool. The other thing you might want to know how to do is how to add text. You do have some text boxes here already. So one thing that you can do is you can click a word that you already have, and then this button right here is the duplicate button. So if I click this button, we'll make a copy of what I already have. If I don't want that anymore, I can click it again. I can press the trash can, or I can click the delete button on my keyboard and it will go away. But to add a new text box, if you want to add a brand new one, you can also choose the text option from the menu as well. And click to add a heading or a subheading or a small amount of text on your greeting card. Let's talk a little bit more about text. So when I am um, typing, there's kind of a special way that you do that to make sure that you're actually typing in your text box. So notice, when I first click on this word happy, look what happens. It just turns, um, it, it makes a big purple rectangle around happy. That means I have it selected. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard like I'm backspacing because maybe I think I want to erase that text. And watch what happens when I click delete. Uh oh, that made my text box completely go away. I didn't mean to completely delete my whole text box. There's a magic thing you can do though. There's a button up here that looks like a backwards arrow. I can click that button. It's going to undo what I did. It will bring my text box right back. So here's how I can click into that word happy and change it if I don't want it to say happy. So I'm going to click. And I'm going to click again. I clicked about three times and now I see what's called a cursor. Do you see that little flashing yellow line? That's a cursor. I can use the arrow buttons at the bottom right of my keyboard to move it to different places. And then I can now tap delete on my keyboard and erase and replace those letters with whatever letters I want to have there. You also might have noticed right here, and since I have the word happy selected, there's a box here that I can use to change the color of that word. 
if I want it to be a different color, that didn't work because I needed to highlight it. So I grabbed and dragged my cursor. Now that I have it highlighted, I can change the color of that word. You can also change the color of most of the other images um, on your greeting card. So for example, if I don't want my son to be yellow, that might be kind of silly, but maybe I want to make an, a blue or a red sun. I can do that by clicking and changing the color boxes up here. I can even change the entire background. If I click right here in the blue, I can even change the entire background of my card. All right, guys, well, those are a few pointers. Now, remember, for a lot of you, this is probably the first time that you've ever played with or explored in Canva before. So try really hard not to get frustrated. I can guarantee you that something is going to go wrong as you're trying some of these um, different cool things that you can do out on your greeting card, um, because that's what happens when we're first trying something new with technology. So we just keep practicing. Um, don't forget you have that undo button to delete something if you did something you didn't mean to do. And you can always go back to the calendar and you can click that link again if you want to start all over brand new with a new template, okay? Um, so have fun, explore, and remember, try not to be too frustrated, but do challenge yourself and stick with it.